Alright, hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite, and welcome back to Harvest December. This is the epilogue of Theological July. I tried not to look behind me, especially when I knew Yuki was thinking of taking Kubikirimaru out. You just learned to detect that thing without actually seeing it, haven't you? Since when did I ever start living a life of fear like this? She would have died if she had, be if she had been human. Dr. Minaka said if she took out the stethoscope out of her, if she took her stethoscope out of her ears. She has a lot of bones and flesh to heal, but she'll be alright, thank god. I'm the god, actually, supposedly. Then you should thank yourself. Even gods can get lucky. That is a video title. Alright, that has been written down. Even gods can get lucky. Yeah. Shiro smiled back. She liked Dr. Minaka's answer. I guess there's no harm getting all the luck I can have. It's an era where even gods get eaten by gods after all. I said I'm sorry, the wolf sighed by her pillow. When he did that, he looked so human. His four feet were bandaged heavily. It would take time to it would take time for him to heal the wounds Medoe had inflicted on him. Yeah, I lost my mind and my morals. I'm ashamed. I acted like some dim-witted animal, and I'm embarrassed I did that. But even so, I have to say this. Go on. No one would obey a powerless god. I know. Shiro was talking about basic animal instincts. No beast would bow to one they thought below them. For a medical, from a medical point of view, I too hope you, I too hope you will recover quickly. What do you mean? At the moment, Shira's ability to recover is less than an average human's. I have no idea what degree, to what degree she will recover. Seeing Shira's expression cloud, Doctor Minaka closed her, chose her words carefully. I would say that she has a 90% chance of recovering completely. But that is my assessment if she were human. She is a god, so I can't be sure. You aren't certain? I'm no I'm I'm I know that's a something mythological, but I don't know how to pronounce it. There is only so much you can do to, with our medical technology today. Besides, I'm someone that makes mistakes even from a simple procedure like an appendix. Even for a simple procedure like okay. Someone should take your medical license away immediately. If you take that away from me now, I become a burglar. That's nothing to be proud about. Kono, you need to loosen up a bit. You're being too much of a realist. Hey, do we actually have a solution? Kohai asked. The gods have returned, and Madui is keeping the peace while Shirosama recovers. Is this it? We don't have any more god. We don't have to god bust anymore. I think you're being a bit optimistic here, Mayoi said. Madui may be taking care of things now, but essentially he's the god of Sakashima. As long as the Tagami name remains and there is life and there is talk, he will never be truly considered Tagami's god. Madoi doesn't feel comfortable too. So you mean we haven't made any progress? I never said that. Mayoi reassured Kohai, who was looking depressed. Madoi is able to buy us some time for a while. It's temporary. Madoi may be able to help things down. Madoi may be able to help things down now, hey. but he will need to return to Sakashima at some point to stand on his own land. During that time, Tagami will be vulnerable. I'm sure the other gods wouldn't miss the chance to come out again. So basically, it's a temporary reprieve from what we've been doing. Kohai sighed and scratched his head. His words were inconsiderate to Shiro, but no one said anything about it. Everyone was feeling the same way he did. We were all tired. Our heavy sighs were all we could hear. What's going to happen to me now? Some things are better left unsaid. Some things could make things worse, or make nobody at all, or make nothing at all. Shiro was dangerously close to saying that kind of something. Saying something of that kind. Uh, she stared at the ceiling. She didn't need to meet anybody's eyes as long as she did that. Shiro. I called her name. Eh. I held her hand. Warmth should always help someone in need, or so I read somewhere. I was trying to save a god, and that was probably out of place for me. I mean, say it with me, you like all things unreal. That's the second quote. The first one was reality is merciless, which doesn't really fit in here. Anyway, but this was all I could do for her. Humans always put their own safety first. From afar, in a safe place, they would experiment. And here I was, deteriorated, trying to save Shiro. Reality was- there you go. Even someone who was as hopeless as me could try and save someone else. I'm a mess, aren't I? No, not really. Shiro took my hand and pressed it against her cheek. She was smooth, soft, and warm. Phew! Dr. Monaco whistled. Mmm. Yuki looked as if she wanted to say something but stopped herself. I was sure I was going to get a thrashing later. Takaki-san, are you awake? Hmm? 
Yeah, I think so. You think so? Yuki frowned. It's been hot lately, hasn't it? Father? Maybe we should go on a trip. Professor Kono, this is not the time. I got Shiro's results back. Takaki took out a folded sheet of paper. Everyone looked at one another in confusion. Dr. Monaka put on a severe face. I do feel a bit guilty passing on personal information, but... She took the photocopied paper from Takaki's hands and scanned it with her eyes. She was the one that did the test, so she already knew what would be on the paper. We even put it through. We even put her through an MRI, Dr. Monaka explained. How was it? Anything wrong? No. She answered our question simply. Then... That's the problem. There is no problem, she quickly added. We put her through several tests, but nothing was wrong. What do you think that means? Nothing was wrong? Isn't that good? I almost asked. So you mean nothing is wrong with her as a human? If she were a god, there would be something. There would have been something different. That's what Takaki and I surmised. Dad nodded in agreement. It was refreshing to hear someone called Dad by his name. But there was nothing. The only thing we could point out was her immunity was lower than average, but nothing too serious. Immunity to ru rubber bands. We did consider this might happen. Dad cut in and smiled at me. I knew that his smile was a challenge. He was, think he was talking so he could listen. He wanted us to think. That meant something. He made Shiro take the tests. He was a sociologist, not a doctor. What would a medical test do for him? There wouldn't, there wouldn't be anything to compare the, with the results. W there wouldn't be anything to compare with the results were out earlier. When the results were out, e when the results were out either. That man, I should question his reasons. The results weren't important. His objective was to perform the test. It was an experiment. I found myself saying the moment Dr. Minaka passed me the sheet of paper. I wasn't looking at the results. I was looking at the address of the hospital stamped on the top corner. You wanted to take her away for tests. That was the experiment. You'll need to wake up early tomorrow. I'm thinking of arranging for a place somewhere far, he had said. I had thought, I thought back in my memory. It wasn't the results. It was never the results. Masaki-san, what are you saying? Taking her to the next town was your objective. The test was just an excuse and a precaution. Why do you think so? Because we have Tawada Hospital in Tagami. There was no reason to take her far. Perhaps I was being considerate, or that I have friends elsewhere. Or maybe I don't think a normal hospital would suffice. No question about that. It would have been more convenient to do it in. It would have been more convenient to do it in Tagami. Everybody here except Shiro was a god, so that means Dad prodded amusedly. Toyama, don't you see? Shiro crossed the boundary. Oh, Mizuho's mouth gaped. Since she lost her authority, I thought it wouldn't be a problem. Kohaya and the others looked around at each other. They all understood where this was leading. They all understood where this was leading to, but they seemed uncomfortable since they couldn't put what they thought in words. You wanted to see if there was possible for Shiro to travel elsewhere. You've obtained a credit, Dad nodded. I see what you wanted to do now, but why? What is the meaning of removing Shiro from Tagami? I have a friend that works in a similar field as I do. He's studying quite unusual on a secluded island. Is that that guy who wrote the book? It's probably that guy who wrote the book. Dad looked out the window. Hey, that's the picture that was in the in the title card screen thing. There, they celebrate an old festival. A festival, of a fighting festival for women. Apparently, the contestants undergo a ritual to embody a god's power before they fight. I was thinking of taking Shiro there so she could have this rit ritual performed on her. Where are we going? Shiro was fast asked. At fast to ask. Roku Shiki Island, he replied. I guess I know what we're doing in August. Yep, that's it for for, for theological for theological July. Yeah, that's that picture. Um, I'm gonna continue on with what's it? Festival October, I think. Fest of August, October. I don't know where I got October from. I'm gonna be taking on Fest of August in the next part. I hope you all enjoy that. My name is Dragonite, and I will see you all later.